Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial all about Todoist. So when you sign up for Todoist, I'm just using the free plan because I think that's what most people will use when they get started. So what I like about Todoist is it is very simple and intuitive and user friendly, but still very powerful. So let's do a little tour. Okay, up here we have this little hamburger menu, uh, yummy hamburger menu, and you can close it just like this or you can press M and that does the same thing and this is just your home view and then here you can search okay but right now there's nothing to search for because we haven't done anything so continuing along the top bar here this is how you just like quickly add a task if you're in a hurry you can just press this plus all good or you can press Q and that is the shortcut. And here is something called uh, Karma Points. So you can uh, set your goals. And it's pretty cool if you like to like gamify or gamify. I'm not really actually sure how that's pronounced. Um, your productivity. Then you might be interested in that. And here on this little question mark we have help. But you know that's what I'm here for. To help. Um, and you got the blog. The Todoist to -do blog. You have templates. If you want to brush up on all the keyboard shortcuts. Then you can get a getting started guide, but again, hopefully that's what I'm here for. But it's always good to have a little reminder up there. And you can sync because actually there is also an app for iPhone, Android, and I actually really like the app. And so obviously, you know, you definitely want to have your to-do list on the go. So, but you have to sync them. And here is where you have your notifications on red, but like I said, this, we haven't done anything yet, and this is just your your avatar. Something else, just to let you know, you can change the theme. Because I know, you know, obviously it's not as super duper customizable as Notion, but I actually prefer Todoist to Notion because, because Todoist is just not as overwhelming. So you can go with different themes. I think these you have to be... Yeah, you have to have, be premium to do that. Um, let's go for Tanger. Oh, Sunflower. Oh, gotta be premium for that. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of options, but it's not a big deal. Let's go for Tangerine. And now, it's orange, and that's nice. Right here is your inbox, and that is where all your tasks will go. If you make a task, it'll go to your inbox, and from there, you can... Um, you can sort it out. Here is where all your today tasks are and this is upcoming. So I really like that you can see at a glance your upcoming week. And then we've got projects which you know we're gonna get into. Labels which is basically tags. Okay it's kind of confusing but just think of it as tags. Another thing about Todoist before I get started actually is that it you can have integration with things like if that then this and Zapier. So that's what I mean about it being simple, but pretty powerful. So let's just add a task, okay? Let's come up here, add a task. Why can I never think of tasks? <laughs> okay, I'm actually just gonna draw inspiration from my own life and the tasks I have to do because I swear I spend ages trying to think up these fake tasks. So I actually have to plant seeds this week. I'm a bit late, to be honest. It's already April, but anyway, I gotta plant seeds. So I'm probably gonna do that. Let's say I want to do that today. Set today. And add task. And now when you go into your today, this is the just the default one that let's just delete that because that's going to confuse us. So if you want to delete a task, you go to this these little three dots. I think they're called ellipses. I'm not sure. I love that I know the hamburger menu, but that's it. I don't know the technical names or anything else. So and then we come here and we just delete the task. And it double checks because it's very considerate. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so here we have plant seeds. So it's in our inbox and it's also in our today and it's also in our upcoming. So let's add some more things. You know, this is a good place to just dump down everything on your mind that you need to do. I think that's a good place to start, um, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. You're like, oh, I've got to do this this day and that that day. You know, first of all, just get down everything that you have to do. Right blog post let's not schedule it let's just and i just pressed enter right there and it, boom it just went in um 
And because I didn't assign it any schedule or anything, it's just here in my inbox. Now I want next uh, study Spanish verbs. I'm trying to learn Spanish, so and let's put in kind of a, a bigger task. Let's say spring cleaning something. I definitely need to do spring clean house. Okay, if you want to do more with this, we click on the the actual task, and we can schedule it. Let's say I want to do it on Monday. And here is when you can select a project. Okay, now we haven't added any project. So let's do that now. Here, select a project. Okay, we don't have anything, so we're gonna we're gonna add one. And the name of my blog is Plants and Chickens. Guess what it's about? <laughs> Plants and chickens. Okay? And as you can see, project not found. But all good, we can just click here, create project, and done. So we have here a project. Projects are basically a group of related tasks. So let's say, we're going to change the color here though, because if we go to edit project, you can either make it a board, like a kind of Kanban style board, or you can make it a list. And we can change the color right here. Um, that's something I really like about To Do is actually they have a nice um, <laughs> selection of colors. So we're going to make it green because plants. And here, if you want to add it to favorites, let's say it's something you, you work on quite a lot. So you want it to be up at the top. Just click this toggle over. And then it's up here and it's also down there. Okay, I mean, you can't really see the difference because we, we don't have a lot of stuff going on right now. So now we're in our plants and chickens project. We can add more things just related to this project. So let's go back to our inbox and we're going to... So take... Photos... For blog. And we'll schedule that for Monday. Let's say we want to do a lot of our blog stuff on Monday. And we can select a project. Where is it? Plants and chickens. Boom. Now we haven't really looked at what these little fellas do. Here we have labels. So you can add a label. So let's say this would be a pretty obvious label would be blog. So we just added it. Done. Next we have priorities. Okay. So you know, obviously, if it's priority one, it's red, super duper important, urgent. Priority two, yeah, you, you, you probably want to do it within the day or two. Maybe you can do it tomorrow or the next day. Priority three, you know, you want to kind of do it this week. Or priority four, you know, it's no biggie. Let's say it's priority two. And you can set a reminder if you want. Uh, actually, you can't. Cause <laughs> reminders are only a premium feature. So if you want to set reminders you gotta upgrade. And you can also, you can add a quick comment. It's not something I already do a lot, but you might have a use for it. Now don't forget to come down here and press add task. Okay, so it doesn't actually go into your inbox anymore. It goes out of your inbox and it goes into, well, it goes into here. And it also goes into upcoming because it's upcoming. You can see here, okay. And in this view, you can also add tasks. If you want to just add it straight into the day itself. So on Sunday, let's say I need to plan week, which is something that, you know, is a good time to do it. And let's say we add a label life. That's kind of just a general life thing that you should do. And it's, um, it's a pretty high priority, actually, because my weeks always go a lot better if I make conscious decisions and plan. Um, so priority number one, great add task. So you can see here it's color coded. So you can see at a glance, you know, the, the red will catch your eye and be like, okay, these are the urgent things I have to do. Let's go back to our inbox. So if we want to add a priority to something we've already added here in our inbox, just come down here and you can either edit the task, you can schedule it. So I'm going to do that today. And it's a medium priority. You know, it's not some, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not going to Spain tomorrow or anything, so there we go. Now, spring clean house. 
this is definitely something that would be needing subtasks, okay? Because if you're just going to say spring clean house, you're really setting yourself up for, for problems. And we're going to want to put this in a project as well. So the project is house, okay? It's always good to just have a general house project. So here we can do subtasks. So first you're going to want to, you know, mop all floors, declutter cupboards. I really struggle with the word cupboards. Clean all sinks. You get the idea. And here you can see the activity. So everything that you've done and you can, to see more than a seven day activity, Again, you're going to have to go premium. So now we have our house project and we're going to come and we're going to edit it and make it a nicer color. Let's say blue and we can, let's do a board and see what goes on here. It doesn't really work though because it's, uh, <laughs> we got kind of subtasks. So it's not the best example of a board to be honest. Let's edit it. And just make it a list. So you can add subtasks within subtasks. That gets a little messy and complicated in my opinion, but you can absolutely do that. So let's say clean all sinks, um, you know, bathroom sink, kitchen sink. It's really the only sinks I have. I don't know how many sinks you have. Those are mine. So then we've got a subtask in a subtask. If we come down here to, this is where we've got our labels. So Let's add some more labels that you might have in your life. So uh, fitness, that would be a good label and make that a nice teal. Nah, we'll make it a yellow. These are, yeah, you, so you can color code these as well. You can have very broad ones like work. Again, you can add it to favorites. And so up here we have work. Now filters are customized views of tasks. So. So we can see all of our priority one tasks, uh, our priority two tasks, priority three tasks uh, at a glance, you know? So let's add a filter. Let's say that the filter is going to be, let's say we want to add a filter of quick tasks. Okay. Things that you can do quickly under five minutes, under 10 minutes, you know, just to boom, bosh, bam, out of the way. And let's make that doo -doo -doo -doo. Olive green and filter query at quick. Okay. Add. Oof. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to add, add new filters, you gotta, you gotta go premium guys. Sorry about this. Okay. Let's go over the pricing. I guess that's something that we can do. I mean, it's super cheap, you know, for a year, it would be 36 euro. And if you pay monthly, you know, you can pay four euro a month. It's really not too big a deal. All right, so we're in a project here. And if we hover over here at the very bottom, we can see add section. We click that and let's add this section. Let's call it, for instance, garden. You know, that's part of the house. Add section, add task, um, mow lawn. Again, schedule it. Oh, it seems like a Saturday activity, doesn't it? And it is medium priority. You know, I'm not gonna get lost in the grass. Uh, you can add another section. You can hover over here. You know, we could call this renovations. That's just another way to separate out, organize your thoughts, organize the things you need to do. Uh, let's add something uh, fitness related just so we can, you know, get to grips with the labels a little bit more. Uh, let's say do 1000 sit-ups. Gotta do that daily, you know? And let's do it <laughs> like then. And it's super important <laughs> and uh, fitness. Okay. Add task. So come down here, fitness. So as you can see, guys, it's super simple and very clean and organized. And I'm a fan. Honestly, I'm a big fan of Todoist. Yeah. I mean the free version, maybe you can't do as many things as you can with like, for instance, the free version of Notion, which is pretty much limitless. Um, but this is definitely, you know, Todoist is more just a getting things done app. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to go more in depth into anything that I touched on here today. Have a great day, guys.